Welcome to La Demi in Love. Yeah. They're very um, firm in the bra. Yeah. What about yours? They're all real. All natural. Look at all of this. You can really get a handful. That's a handful for sure. I really like your barn. Thank you. Yeah, it's so um, barny. Yeah, so we're gonna go kick it right there today. It's gonna be lit. Oh my god, I'm so excited for this. Thank you for having me. Yeah, let's see how good of a kisser you are. You can show me your tits. Yeah, once um, I have champagne. Okay. Uh, this video, I think it's important to showcase just me on a date. I feel like everyone is so in tune with like my dating life and like how I act on a date. And I feel like you can really see with like this whole journey that I'm about to go on, all the different shades of La Demi. How like I can be cute and flirty, tone it back, know when not to suck and fuck, and have fun. All right, so why did you want to go on a, a date with La Demi? I mean, have you seen those titties? They're fire. Thank you for having me over. Yeah, absolutely. Happy Welcome. Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to you too. I brought a little Tic Tac for you last time your breath was a little. <laughs> So now we have something to freshen up. Wow. <laughs> it was kind of stinky, stinky. I deleted Raya after meeting you. Yeah? Yeah. Wow, I can tell you're loyal then. Mm, a little bit. A little bit? There's still a lot I need to know about you, so. I would say what I went out of the date is to meet someone that is genuine, who is a freak in bed, bro. Like, that's the thing is you got these standards. You got the freak, you got the freak freak, and then you got the freak. And I'm just gonna see if I can unleash the freak, you know? Where are you from? My mom's vagina. Mom's vagina? Oh, you mean like state? Yeah, okay. state. I'm from Texas. I grew up in Dallas until I was eight, and then eight to 16, grew up in San Antonio. 16 to 27, now LA. What brought you out to LA? College, I transferred to universities. What did you study? Uh, bad bitch uh, marketing. Yeah? <laughs> Savage marketing? <laughs> no, no, no. I studied um, fashion, marketing, product development. Where are you from? So I was originally adopted from Russia, and then I came to the States when I was about like two years old. I was adopted by a family in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. But yeah, I would say after college, I uh, decided that I wanted to move out to LA. Where's Pennsylvania? Uh, it's on the East Coast. New York. Yeah. Close to there. Yeah. What's your sign? Oh, guess. Don't tell me you're a Gemini. Mm -mm. No. I can be two-faced though. Gemini's are the ones that I always like fall for. Scorpios are the ones that I always have the best sex with. Well, I think it's leaning probably towards some really good sex. Yeah? Mm-hmm, I'm a Scorpio. She has this crazy sexual energy about her and the fact that she, she's a Scorpio, like I'm telling you the best sex I've ever had of the Scorpios. The best. And what are you? Aquarius. Oof. Wait, Aquariuses are very closed off with like their emotions and just very like get out of my bed when you're done. I would say it all depends. I would, just, I would definitely say that I'm, I have a wall up, but I think that's more because of my adoption. I uh, have abandonment issues, so it's hard for me to let someone in. Mm -hmm. But once I do let you in, yeah. He was very nervous, but I make anyone nervous, let's get real. <laughs> yeah, it takes a really long time for my walls to get down. I trust no one. No? Mm-mm. Why? Just previous, like, fuck ups. Not so much bad, cause like I, I remain friends with them, but like, I don't know, just like fuck me over and then I'm just like, think the next person's gonna fuck me over. Yeah, I feel like that's how LA is though as a whole. Yeah, this is a shitty place to be dating. It is. It's like a revolving door that everyone's always looking for like the best sexy thing to walk in. It's like, I will date you, but like the second something else presents itself, like I might take that option. I see that. But it's because like LA is full of hot, young, sexy bitches, like all. Yeah, like you. <laughs> also, by the way, do you have a, an erection? Yeah, I mean, I just keep staring at your tits and I kind of have like a little heart on. It looks, nah, I'm um, just kidding. They're Starburst. Looks a little below average, but I, oh, uh -huh. I got I got some Starburst for you. But they do say that if you can open up one of these without using your hands, like in your can mouth, you? you're a good kisser. Can you? Yeah, duh, of course. By the way, I also wanted to bring you out to my little oasis, my little farm, kind of take yeah, you Yeah, this is really me. cute. I would have never expected you to be like very redneck. I would move back to Texas with like the right hunk of dory. Maybe that's why you are uh, attracted to me because I'm from Texas. It could be it. I also love big tits. I uh, noted that. I saw that in your bio on Raya. Yeah. Yes. I think it's because when I was a kid, I didn't have a mom. So the second my mom gave birth to me, 
The Russian mob took me away from her and said I was dead. So I never really? Stuck, yeah, so I never sucked on tits as a kid. Bro, she has some serious knockers, bro, and I just want to motorboat the shit out of them. Just sit in there and just be like... <laughs> I got some stuff for us, so I'm gonna go grab it. Drugs? Ecstasy. <sighs> no? A little toothy. And some champagne. I'll wait. Yeah. I'll go, I'll go get it. Of course you will. <laughs> I got some, some strawberries. Some whipped cream, and uh, we'll let you pop this bottle. This is my favorite. Yeah? Yes, yeah, my favorite vegetable. <laughs> this isn't a vegetable. And I also see that you grow your own balls. I do grow my own balls. Yes. It's actually interesting. I have a really nice cock, but I have small balls for some reason. Do you jack off a lot? No, I don't jack off at all. I hold my load in. They're like raisins? No, they're not raisins. They're like one star ping pong balls. It's okay, you have other things to make up for exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. I feel like you don't need a big sack though. I'm also a virgin, by the way. You're a virgin? Mm -hmm. I don't believe that at all. Garrett is, um, he must be watching my uh, YouTube channel because uh, recently in my Q&A, I described the kind of guy I go for. So I think when uh, he presented himself on Raya with all of his assets, including his, uh, Raisin balls. It was just a perfect fit. Should I do it this way? Yeah. <laughs> no. Which way? This way? Shoot it. This shoot way? it. No, no, no. Just shoot it out that way. Ooh. Wow. I don't think I've ever been to a date on time, actually, too. One thing about me. <gasps> I'm late to everything. So, like, I'll always be running, like, an hour behind, 30 minutes. When I get ready, it's, like, therapeutic for me and I'm like a perfectionist. So like yeah. everything has to be like. Perfect. It's, I have like a checklist, you know? I fucking hate when people are late. Oh. How yeah. late are you normally? Let me let you know that the good oh, things in life there. take time. Except for when I'm about to come, I'll just come. Yeah? Yeah, but happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> what are the chances do you, do you think that you can get here to sleep with you on the first day? Oh, I can go suck his dick right now. Like, let's say you're in a relationship with someone. Are you like, um, what's the word? Possessive over what's yours? No, not at all. But like, as far as like, okay, so let's put it this way. If I was to have a girl, I would not let her get fucked by someone else. So if we were dating and I invited a guy to come fuck me, you wouldn't I've like been. that? Nah, I don't, I don't like that shit. Back to the whipped cream. Yeah. I've never done. You've never used whipped cream before? No, but, um... Mind you, I grew up with a bunch of boys and brothers, so I'm a wild one. I used to skateboard, ride horses. Yeah? All kinds of horses. Yeah? And, yeah. I got some, uh, I got some saddles in the back. Where I'm from, we don't even need a saddle. Yeah, we bareback. No, yeah, yeah bareback. Exactly. Exactly. Would you like some? Yeah. Let's oh, you keep it. Now? Oh, gee. I really wanted to overdo it. Yeah, you can't do that. Yes. It's not too ridiculous. This, I'm gonna give you a heavy load. All right. <laughs> Come back. I should be giving you a heavy load. We can after later. Let's shoot a rope. Mm. Cause I can already tell that she's she's a flirt. I think it's inappropriate if I try to get her naked on the first date. I think that you know if we go on a second date. Maybe we'll go uh, catch steak. Maybe a little Nobu. Maybe nice guy. Maybe get flicked up a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I might have to lay the pipe down then, man. My favorite movie is Pretty Woman, and there's a scene where she's drinking champagne and eating strawberries. Here, you wanna lick yourself a tip? Mm. <sighs> can I have another one? A strawberry you want? Another lick off the tip. Yeah, you can have another lick off the tip. Did you brush your teeth by any chance? You decide, like you, your person, decide what you want your date or whoever to perceive you as, you know, within that first date or whatever. So it really is so fucking fun. You can make them believe you're a superhero, you know? I could have told him I own a billion dollar company. But like, I think the creativity of getting to paint yourself in a new light on a day and like, then later they can find out you're batshit fucking insane and crazy. Like, that's so fun. So I just like always reinventing myself. And then later on, you know, 
showing them that they probably made the wrong choice. But okay, let's see. What's wait, a big wait. turn off though in a girl? Yeah. For me, I think for me, like I'm very OCD and like I like things to be very clean. Like I can't like be with someone who's gonna like leave like dishes in the sink. I can't be with someone who's gonna like be messy and disgusting. I don't like that at all. I just am so struct structured. Like I will wake up, make my bed. Like everything is a checklist yeah. because that's how I was raised. Yeah, well that's how you like kind of like have those mini defeats throughout the day as well. Mm -hmm. Same, I hate messy beds. But like I have my days where I'm like, you know, Hagrid. If I have, <laughs> if I have like a bender of a night, that's the next day I'm like. Absolutely, the next day is like have sex all day. Exactly. Watch Netflix. For me, like if I have a bender with someone till like 7 a.m. or whatever, uh -huh. it's like sleep for a little bit, fuck, sleep, fuck, maybe order sugarfish and watch TV. That's awesome. exactly it. It's gonna rip. That was a big bite. Wow, oh, I like big bites. You have a big mouth. Nice. So do I though. Good. That'll come in handy. Yeah, okay, so now you. What are your um, pet peeves about yourself first? I'm like the worst critic about myself, so like everything I just deconstruct down to like something so microscopic. Is that a word? Yeah. Microscopic. Yeah. Everything has to be perfect and it's like a lot of the time, no it doesn't, you know? And you have to realize at the end of the day, like as long as you give it your best try and you continue to try, eventually like you keep failing, keep failing, keep failing, eventually you're going to succeed. Very cute of you, Garrett. That was very Hallmark. Thanks. What's something that's deep that actually turns you off? Like a low sex drive, because I'm like so hyped up, ready to go all the time. Yeah. Anywhere, public, not. And whenever someone tells me that I'm too much, I'm like, it's done. I get what I want when I want. Nice. My favorite movie is Titanic. So I always said, not die on the boat, but like, you know, um, not die in sync. <laughs> My most romantic date was like to sail the ocean and I did that already. So I guess now it kind of just like wiped out any other date. Like that was so rich and bougie on a yacht. Like I did it already. So like now it's just like, I guess trying to figure out if I have a connection with someone. What about you? Ooh, I would say the situation is different. I fucked two of the Beverly Hills housewives Ooh. at one of the husband's houses and then he came home and uh, shook my hand. It was super weird and we pretended that I was a real estate agent. About like a week later, I think he kind of understood what was going on. And then he called me to go get dinner with him in Beverly Hills. And asked? And he brought some dude with him that looked like it was a hitman. It was like, if you ever come near my family or my wife ever again, I'll fucking murder you. Holy shit. Yeah, so then I walked away. And I was like, all right. The thing is, is I don't know enough about Ledemi right off rip to know the comparison of like the gains. But I would say like, you know, I'm on this streak right now where I'm not beating off. I'm utilizing this extra testosterone. And I feel like if I could release some of that, like, I mean, bro, that's gains right there, dude. She's, she's thick in like the best way, like curvy and everything like that. So some that's some gains right there. That's all I got to say. And I'm still uh, interested in seeing you open up a Starburst with your tongue. All right. So while you do that, I'm going to ask you a question. What? Think of like a hot girl that you would date. Mm-hmm. You? Thank you, yes. And then think about your mom. If you had to fuck me, like my body with your mom's brain inside of me, or your mom's body with my brain inside of your mom. Do you get it? Yeah. Which one are you gonna fuck? Done. Wow. You're good. Uh, that's a hard one. What about you? Your dad with my brain or me with your dad's brain i'm gonna fuck my dad with your brain and my dad because then psycho psychologically like i'm fucking you yeah technically speaking the connection is there yeah. like there's no i cannot fuck you knowing oh. that it's my dad's brain in there that was a good one i haven't heard that one before let's do fuck mary kill <sighs> okay all right so you got justin bieber <laughs> okay you got chris hemsworth Ooh. You got Dwayne The Rock Johnson. So I don't know Dwayne, so I'm gonna kill him. Oh, <laughs> good luck killing him. You have to, I don't even know how you take him down. Very easily with a gun. Okay. Are you good with guns? Oh, I love shooting. shooting. Yeah? I love shooting all kinds of things. Yeah, I like shooting too. I don't like hunting though. I just like shooting my load. I don't really fuck with guns. Yet to see with your raisins. <gasps> oh, that was a bee that just flew on me. Bees won't do anything. I just flicked a fucking bee off my thigh. I saw it. He landed in your tits, exactly where I'd want to land. My heart is beeping. I think he, I think he motorboated your tits. My heart is beeping. Is it beeping? 
Oh, it's warm over here too. Anyways, as I was saying, so I think I'm gonna marry Chris. Like I have a specific type of guy. Chris is my type, I like Chris. You're very up my alley. Nice. Just have to get more into your brain. And then who was the other one? Bieber. Fuck him. He's, he's a good one in bed. Why are you single? Why am I single? Mm -hmm. Do you think that you want a relationship or are you just like out there dating and fucking? Now I'm at a point where I'm like, I just want to focus on my career. Mm -hmm. And I know that I have such a high standard of living in life Uh huh. that I feel like I'm not going to be satisfied being like without being the best version of myself until like I and I feel like if I am that I kind of feel like we live in this world where like a lot of it's like mimetic desire and a lot of it's like you are a mirror of like what you attract. I don't know. I got off some TV show called Fuckboy Island and like I was just being oh, a little. Oh, you look like a fuckboy. I was just being a little fuckboy and kind of like it's just a no. bee. Watch, I'll catch him. No, 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 no. I wanted to bring her to my farm because I feel like I'm at this place in my life where I just met my birth mom this year. I've had all these things with my adoption. And it's nice to just get outside of the scene of LA and be in a place where we can just vibe and where there aren't these weird pressures of LA and trying to go flex and like do like super cool things. Like, I don't know, I just feel like it's a different vibe and it's a vibe that kind of like matches my energy these days. I feel like I'm at this point now, it's where like I need to be the best version of myself and I'll attract the right person in my life in, in order for me to have like the life that I want and to be able to like, let's say I want to raise a family. Like I want to be able to give my kids like full financial freedom to do whatever they want. Oh, same. But I want to like build an empire with someone. Like you have your work and I want to like, of course. You know, like I want to like both kill it and like just like take over everything. Yeah. With, could, with whoever I end up with, it's like I, you have your life, but like I'm also building my empire. I've also realized that as well as like I don't think I could be with someone who yeah. I was just their paycheck. And it's one of those things at the end of the day, like it's just not attractive. No. And I don't care if you're not doing anything and you're not making a lot of money, but as long as you're doing something that like you're truly passionate about and that you enjoy doing, like that's great. But like not selling your ass on OnlyFans. What about you? Why aren't you with any <laughs> anyone? Oh, I'm super fucking picky. Yeah. The whole dating scene is like exhausting. Sitting down, I'm from Texas, and then that, and then then that. Yeah. Like when guys ask me now, like, what do you do? I say I'm full time gorgeous. <laughs> He's not gonna do anything. You need to... <laughs> he was trying to whisper you a secret. No, 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 no. I'm not in bed. Um, also, my love language is kissing my neck. That makes my nipples hard. I like that. So I think it's really important to start this new journey of just finding, not myself because I know who the fuck I am, but finding my <coughs> finding my other person because I've been a fuck girl for quite some time and like the texting 20 people back a day, how my day is going, I'm exhausted. But like I'm also pushing 30 now. Like in three years I'll be 30. So like, yeah, you know, the thing is for me, it doesn't really matter as long as my sperm is like, is good. Immaculate? Yeah, then, then I'll be cool. Yeah, if I have kids, great. If I don't, then it's not in God's plan. I mean, it is what it is. I don't think I would adopt though. I, we won't get into that today. I just think at the end of the day, like when you have adopted kids and what I've seen, like if I didn't have the lifestyle that I had growing up, like my sister was adopted. And like with my sister, it was really hard on her because <laughs> Sorry. Do I think there's a chance for a second date? Pfft, duh. Have you seen me? What? I don't lose, bro. I do this shit, bro. For real. If he agrees to go on a second date with me, I will be giving him a nice, naughty surprise. Mmm. <laughs> Have we tasted these? You have something right here. Thanks. Fuck, Mary kill. To you? Yeah. La Demi. Not calling myself that, just throwing myself yeah. in there. I was waiting for you to throw yourself in there. You would have said fuck, that's it. You don't know that. Okay. I would have said kill. Just kidding. <laughs> Jessica Alba. Okay. <laughs> and then who's the other person? This is a lot of musical jazz. Okay, um. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. You Your farm sucks. <laughs> and then let's throw in there Oprah Winfrey. All right, I'm gonna fuck you. <laughs> Oprah has a big bag, so I might marry her. I'll kill Jessica Alba. Jessica Alba used to be hot, but I don't know what she's on these days. But she also has that beauty company as well, right? Or some skincare. She's an, a mega billionaire, amazing girl too. So I, that was a hard one. Yeah, that's a hard one. You made your bed. What do you say we get out of here? What would you do to Demi if? if you could have your way with it right now. If there were no consequences, 
I mean, I would show her my horse. I would take that champagne, the strawberries, the whipped cream. I put that shit all over her, bro, and I'd go to town, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I would teach her how to really ride a horse. So you can see that. Ah, 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 you feel me? I would love to um, slap him across the face and then probably push him against the wall. By then he's gonna have a heart on, of course. Probably grab that. See what, really what, if he's all talk or not, you know? He better take over from there. Do you want a massage? I love a massage. I love a massage. I'll go show you my, uh, my horses in the back. Let's go. Let's do it.